And the Lord finished his teaching by saying, Come unto me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I want to start with a question this morning. How many of you have felt weary and heavy laden? Anybody? Let me ask you a more honest, direct question, because this will answer. How many of you, your house is a wreck? <laughs> the kids are home. Place is a mess. You know, trying to clean a house with kids at home is like trying to brush your teeth while eating Oreos. <laughs> just can't do it. And you see, it's not just at home. It's everywhere. Our office, our school, our work, our friends. Sometimes even our church is a wreck. It's wearisome, it's hard, it's tired. Life is tough, right? Well, you know what? There's hope. <laughs> I didn't believe this when I read it. You know what one of the fastest, most popular growing videos on YouTube is? You don't watch YouTube, huh? I don't know either. I'm not sure what it is, but I read the story, so I went and watched and looked. It is, it, it is videos showing people organizing and cleaning their house. I'm not kidding you. Most popular, most popular videos now, right now, growing in popularity. People just sit in their house, which is a wreck, and watch others clean and organize their house. How to organize your spices, how to organize your kitchen, how to organize your bedroom, how to put your towels and sheets and underwear, all, you know, just fluffy in the right place. How to do all this stuff, and people sit there and watch it. Kind of like you guys, you sit and watch uh, the cooking channel forever, but you never get up and make anything, do you? You just sit there and watch it. One of these days, I'm going to make that, you know. You started watching it when you were 17, now you're 75. When are you going to make it? One of these days. And they don't know why it's becoming popular. This honest goodness truth in this, in this article. They don't know why it's becoming most popular, but they think it's because of the chaos and the, and the craziness in our life in general. It's good every once in a while just to sit quiet and watch somebody make something new and shiny. Another channel that's very popular on TV is that home, Rebuild Your Home channel, you know, where they go into this old junky house and they make it all nice and sweet. And you know, you look at your house and go, oh my, did I marry the wrong person? <laughs> There's something that our heart longs for. Something deep in there that wants to find peace and rest and order not chaos in fact the scripture says our God is not a God of chaos he is a God of great organization he is a God of peace is it any wonder Jesus would want that for our lives my peace I leave you not as the world gives no 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 that ain't peace my peace I leave you as the Father in heaven gives you peace. One of the last commands at the Last Supper before he left was that the men and women there should be men and women of peace. So this morning the challenge scripture is when Jesus at the end of a very difficult sermon says to his, his men and women, the disciples and the crowds around him, come on to me. If you're weary, if this world has beat you up, made you crazy, you've got that boss, you've got that neighbor, you've got that friend that's just always causing trouble in your life, that sister, that aunt, that uncle, somebody's aggravating you, or maybe it's just those kids which you spawned, and they're aggravating you. Come unto me, and I will give you peace. Those of you who are weary, heavy laden, and I will give you rest, and I shall give you rest even for your soul. That's some good rest there. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Why don't you stand up one final time, stretch your legs. We are.